Okay, so I just had like one of the worst nightmares of my entire life. Um, so I'm so glad I woke up. I thought that I was literally dying. Like I thought I was going to die. Um, I was in like another state that I didn't recognize and it was like I was, I don't know if I was on vacation or what I was doing. Um, but I was like by myself, I was kind of like hanging out with people. I don't know what got me in this scenario, but basically, um, there was a lot of people like everywhere and I, um, was hanging out kind of just like having fun, I guess. And then I realized that I had like something growing on my legs like a I just want to say like it reminded me of like a plague it was like dangly like I don't even know how to describe it like extra skin like growing off of my legs and it was like only happening to me in this dream and um once I realized like I saw it on my skin like People were kind of like, ooh, but like people weren't really paying attention to me. That's the, that is like the main goal of the, the main theme of this stream is that nobody was paying attention. Um, and I couldn't get anyone to help me, but basically, so I just took off from what I was doing. Like basically I didn't even have any belongings with me and I was like, someone just get me to an emergency room now, you know, because I was like, it seemed very serious, you know, like I had no idea what it was. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't even search it on my phone or anything, but I was just in a huge hurry to get to a hospital or an emergency room. Um, cause I just felt like very weak. And like I said, I was in a city. I completely didn't know where I was. I was totally by myself. Um, and I kept trying to find, there was people all around me that like seemed really nice, you know, or just totally, but like nobody would help me get to the doctor. Um, no one would help me get to like a hospital. Um, and like I said, I just kept going around, like it was like these huge, like shopping malls and like shopping centers. And I remember thinking like, this is a pretty neat city or, you know, it was very different from like where I live. Um, like it was, you know, like people had a lot of things and nice things and, um, like really nice shopping centers and, um, like nobody would help me. And then I finally found some people and they were like a group of like six, like there are men and women. And you know what? They reminded me of like newscasters. Or like professionals, like young professionals, right? And I kept saying, I need to go to two, get this, two Bama way. And there was like a picture. Um, there was like a, like a picture, like I could see it in my head. And actually, I know this all sounds insane, but I think it's going to mean something. Okay. Um. I was like, I need to go to two bomb away. And it was almost like something was hanging. Um, oh my gosh. Like I have a visual in my head of <clears throat> like a street with something hanging, um, like on a wire. But anyway, these people, we were like kind of racing or we were driving in the car and they were not paying attention to like how serious my condition was. And they were just like, we look at me, you know, like they're like, we're young, we're having so much fun, you know, like we're so carefree, we're so happy, you know, and they just didn't give a crap about this growth, this plague or whatever it was, was growing on my leg, my legs, you know, and they, there was no urgency to get me to a hospital, even though that's all I wanted, you know, all I wanted was just 
to get to an emergency room to be looked at, you know, in case, cause it kind of seems serious. Like, like there was kind of someone who was near me like, Oh, that looks bad. You know, like I would hurry or something, you know, like somebody said that, but it was almost like a knowing in my mind, like I need to hurry so that I don't die, you know? But like I said, I had, and I was telling people like, I'm like, I don't even have a wallet right now. I don't even have an ID. For some reason, like, I just didn't have my belongings that I needed. Um, cause like I said, I was just trying to get to a doctor like as soon as possible. Um, and that's so funny. Yeah. It was two, like the number two and then bomb away. Um, was like the road I was really wanting to get to. And like I said, it, it was so hard. I couldn't get anyone to just take me. Um, and I finally did. Like I was driving, but these people were just not paying attention to me at all. And they were more focused on their own like personal beauty and how young they were and how much fun they were having than what was happening to me. Um, but then, like, I finally woke up, but it, at the end of the dream, I was, like, in the car with these people, and I think we were, like, approaching it, or I'm, like, I think it's over there, you know, I don't even know, like I said, I didn't even have, like, a phone, I don't know how I was navigating, I just, like, the people that were with me, I had to trust them to help me because they were from that city, you know, I had to trust them to help me get there. Um, that's it of the dream. Absolutely insane.